Hi everyone, it's Aspen. I'm coming to you from Aspen's Place Recording. We're showing three-dimensional sound today, and we're going to show you how it works. For anybody that has a stereo keyboard or a stereo guitar rig, we're going to be able to show you how to use those and have them sound even bigger than they do on the record when you're playing live. Traditional stereo has a left-right speaker and a small sweet spot in the middle, so even though you have stereo instruments, you really can't play live because you can't get everybody to be in the sweet spot. With our system, you plug in stereo, just the same as you do with anything else, into a mixer, and you get 3D sound. Our speaker works very different than any speaker you've had. There's two speakers, but they're out of phase, what we call the side speaker. It's out of phase to the front speaker. From your keyboard or your guitar over here, left, right comes in, we convert them through a phasing system to be a mid and side signal. So the, the mid signal is going to be everything that's in the center of your stereo mix. The side speaker is going to be everything that's unique to stereo, far left or far right. In the case of some instruments, there's actually a front to back characteristic in a recording like a Leslie. These speakers are out of phase, so they don't mix. And that means that when no matter where you stand in the room, you hear the same sound and it's three dimensional. It's not left or right. You don't have to be in a sweet spot. The sweet spot is everywhere with this technology. It's true 3D sound. Now, right now, my voice is just me coming dry. But if I were to turn up a little bit of Hall Reverb right now, you'd probably hear this big spatial sound coming up because now my voice has stereo reverb on it. Now, on the side speaker, which allows me to control the width of the stereo right here, I can turn this event down or I can turn it way up. So if I reach down here and turn off my side speaker altogether, I'm going to get pretty dry again. And if I turn it up to 12 o'clock, you're going to hear the hall. And if I turn it way up, you're going to hear a giant hall. So normally I run that right around 12 o'clock. That's just stereo in my voice. And now I'm going to give you a little stereo patch that's a, a demonstration patch from Native Instruments B4. It's a Hammond Leslie sound. And it's going to give you that Leslie. And that spinning sound. Now I'm going to turn the width control off. So that's pretty much what, if you're a keyboard player, you're playing through a monaural amplifier right now. And I'm going to turn it back up. When I turn it up, notice the spatial stereo sound of the front to back. So now it really feels like there's a Leslie in the room. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to play that patch and I'm going to have Yuri move this, the microphone from the center of the room over to the left and over to the right. During the time I'm playing back that so you can basically get the feel that no matter where you stand, you're still going to hear the stereo through your headphones or whatever you're listening to right now. Actually, if you're in the room, you could walk anywhere in the room and nothing changes. Let's start out in the middle. All right, now why don't we move it over to the left, my left. Gently, just slowly walk back over to the front. There you go. Now we're back in the middle and go way over there on all the way over there. So this is just a simple little demonstration to show you no matter where you stand, that's what you're going to hear through a center point stereo speaker. The sweet spot's everywhere, it doesn't matter where you stand. The nice thing about that is the audience is everywhere, your bandmates are everywhere, and they all can hear what you're hearing. That's the beauty of playing in true 3D sound that only can happen through a center point stereo speaker.